Hello student today in this session uh, this is something different i am starting and uh, this will not be related to the anatomy this will not be related to the teaching from my side but this will be a kind of uh, chat between one of my student uh, who is with me dr apurva who happens to be a student of 2013 batch when i was uh, in a college of ahmedabad and uh, i met him for the first time we knew each other and since then it's been 9 uh, years of our journey we are often on in between we are in connection we are we are in contact with each other and uh, since i know him he never uh, stopped to amaze me he never failed to amaze me because of his something he brings up something he comes up with and uh, always that amaze me so again all those things uh, will be clubbed together today in this session and we'll have a chat particularly uh, usmle as it has been mentioned in the title of this video so hopefully it will turn out to be very useful for you people basically for the usmle aspirant how the details of the usmle will be given by him just because he himself is a candidate he himself has uh, got matching in uh, recently i think in in march and uh, in june within one and a half month he will be leaving india and he has uh, secured his admission somewhere in i think wisconsin isn't it apurva yes yes so here we have dr apurva welcome apurva thank you so much dr garya and sir it's my absolute pleasure to be here and that was an emotional start i know you since 2013 and it was literally my you know i have always looked up to you and i started my youtube channel because of you you just i still remember those days and thank you so much for always inspiring me and it's my and, absolute uh, uh, and pleasure. one more thing i wanted to uh, add upon is uh, being a scholar and being an excellent academic being in excellent academics uh, once i asked uh, purva that what is your wildest dream what is your dream and uh, you know i was literally surprised that i was expecting something about academics he would have answered like i want to excel in medicine or i want to do something else but to my surprise what he answered is sir my wildest dream is to launch a music video so uh, here we have got uh, somebody who is multi talented uh, and he has his videos his own videos his own recordings his own uh, lyrics and his own uh, singing i mean so many aspects of him uh, are there but today in this chat will focus on us emily only and if time permits then in next session we'll be discussing is some of the other aspects so tell me dr apurva about yourself your brief introduction how it started and how you made your mind to go to us or to abroad and not to stay in india in short why us emily and why not need pg thank you so much actually i've been asked this questions in all the interviews that tell me about yourself and the re- the way by which i would start is like i was always inspired by my mentor and to all uh, everyone who is watching this that statement was actually dr karya i was always inspired by my mentor um, okay. so he is right now in front of me to excel in medicine so that's how i i started um, you know loving medicine and then mm-hmm. i started you know teaching and finally it was internship when i decided about usmle okay so let's you know explore because in entire mbbs i was using usmle materials to even okay. study for university exams okay. so finally in internship i decided okay you know let's start up with usmle and then i gave my all steps and this is how it ended up so what was the igniting point Uh, i mean most of the students are confused at certain period of time maybe in second year maybe in third year or maybe in internship they are literally standing on a cross road that where to go now left or right usmle or neat pg always this is very confusing so how a student comes to know that no i'm made for usmle or i'm made for neat pg or particularly for those students who haven't a family background of any doctor in usa or any family member in usa or right they don't have any idea about or uh, they don't have any idea about the finances of the um, uh, us emily so what was your igniting point what was your that particular point you have made your mind that no this is a point now i am deciding that i'm sure shot i am going us what was yeah, that point that's a great question actually so it was actually multifactorial and one of the thing uh, was definitely the healthcare system so after working in healthcare system i found that there is still a big room of improvement and there was one thing which i always uh, was fascinated about that they write harrison and we are actually the one who reads harrison and okay this is yeah, so definitely so it's a kind of systematic approach towards the healthcare yes. they are used to with so definitely there is always a scope of improvement but you got fascinated with that point now i want to ask about the usmle what is it 
what about the usmle exam because the most of students will be from first time bbs and they might not be aware about what uh, about this exam and how many parts are there for usmle sure so usmle stands for united states medical licensing exam so it's a three part exam step 1 2 and 3 basically you need to pass that exams uh, if you want to practice as a doctor in united states because in united states you cannot practice just after doing mbbs you need to at least do md medicine then and only then you can practice there so if you have done mbbs from india or if you even if you have done residency from india you need usmle to pass and then you can practice residency uh, you have to do residency there and then you can practice as a doctor in united states so that that is a licensing exam so if you want to do say for example like family physician or just general practice in india they need a basic qualification like mbbs right registered medical practitioner yes, yes. so this usmle clearing exam would be the licensing exam so you can straight away uh, do practice or you need to study further is it mandatory What yes so general practitioners no there are there is no such kind of thing like called as general practitioner in united states it is there in united kingdom but you need to do your residency get an md degree or ms degree then and only then you can practice as a doctor there okay okay so uh, tell me in brief about all these three steps step 1 2 ck and 3 what exactly is being asked so step 1 is a basic science examination so subjects which are covered in step 1 are just first and second year of medical school so it would just cover anatomy physiology biochem pathophysio pharm micro all those basic science subjects are in step 1 so they want to know about the diagnosis the pathophysiology in step 1 mm-hmm. and same thing will be tested in step 2 but the next year version of it so if they test of about tuberculosis in step 1 they'll ask about management of tuberculosis in step 2 Okay. and step 3 is more of an independent physician examination that if you are working as an independent physician what would you do would you treat the patient by yourself or would you refer the patient so okay. that's an independent and it also has one clinical uh, simulation scenarios computer based clinical scenarios where you actually see patient in front of you the vitals are fluctuating and you have to manage the patient in the computer itself mm-hmm. so that's a brief introduction about exams Okay so is it mandatory to go to US to appear for these exams or is it possible to appear from India only local centers Yes we de- definitely have local centers like one of the centers in is in Ahmedabad so you can give your step 1 and 2 um, anywhere um, in, even in United States or even in India or any other country where you are residing but step 3 is solely conducted in United States Okay so you have to give step 3 in United States rest all step 1 and step 2 you can give in your home country So now comes the most important thing for Indian students that is finance. So yes. How about the cost of total US MLE course step 1 2 3 and uh, all including the visa process and the uh, stay and all. Right. How much one will expect to spend? So this is a like biggest hurdle which Indian students face and uh, So if I just sum up and give you an abstract number that this is what you'll need for your assembly so it's that's around 15 20 lakhs. So you need like in, in total, total total in yes. total that even includes air tickets or like air tickets in between United States or hotels everything. So and if if we bifurcate uh, because it, it will be different for individual for hotel stay and for air fare yes. and all. But what about the exact cost of uh, appearing for the exam exam fees exam fees? Okay. So just for the step 1 um so I would say if we take one step at a time just for if you just want to give step 1 the fees for that exam is around 80 90000 in INR so that's around 1000 uh, 1200 dollars so okay. um that's 80 90000 for steps all the steps uh so you would spare around 3 lakhs for all the examination including certifications and everything mm-hmm. so that's the exam fees only and uh, what about the gaps how how long uh, it will last for like step 1 2 3 and uh, that will help in determining the initiating point from where exactly they will have to start so as to finish in the right period of time yeah so if it's very important to be decided at very very early stage because if uh, you become eligible to give step 1 right after second year of medical school okay. so Uh, you you can give your step one examination in the third ideal, first. Ideal time to appear at yes. the commencing point and right from the first year they'll have to prepare for the basic science subjects and at the end of second year they will be eligible and as soon as they becomes eligible they can appear. Yeah, yeah. that's a thing to know. Yes. 
so yes, they can sir. give you their step one in third first and you you are eligible to give step two examination after you complete your med school so by internship finishing uh, you can give your step two examination so by the time you finish off your entire mbbs you, you are ready with step one and two so, so the gap of between step one and two is you um, need to complete internship then only you will be eligible for step two Is yes so? yes yes you need um like at least final year of medical school to, to be completed uh to give step two not internship just final year of medical school final year. Okay, okay yes okay so uh that's fine and what about the preparation what is the base resource material one can have to prepare for at least for step one if my undergraduate students first and second year students are listening to this what is at present base resource material available and there are many many resources actually available and there are n number of videos out there which talks about resources so the gold standards if i would say the, everybody follows first aid everybody follows u world there is like USMLE RX, UWorld, Pathoma, BNB, like there's n number of list of resources. But the cornerstone, I would say, would be the practicing uh, MCQs, more and more practicing MCQs. Absolutely, absolutely. So that's UWorld. Um, and otherwise, you can watch various videos. I also have started an app. So that's USMLE Strike. Wow. Has, like various so videos. Please, please, please uh, mention your uh, details of the app and uh, link share the link in the description box so as the students can uh, just have a look and just go through the features of the app now uh, again you have amazed me you have uh, i have been fascinated just because i know about you and uh, i just wanted to uh, tell to my audience something that this fellow used to take tuitions or used to take classes of his juniors while studying being a student himself just to made his finances so that is altogether a different aspect and that is again an inspiring thing for the listeners for the students uh, who are saying that i don't have capacity i don't have uh, enough finances for going to the usa i cannot spend 18 20 lakh rupees and uh, just because medical education is becoming costlier in india as well uh, right. the, even even mbbs in mbbs people have to spend in lakhs Right. So apart from that, spending uh, studying in private medical school, like you, you are also in a semi-government uh, medical school, and you were uh, also had to pay the uh, tuition fees for the yes. for the med medical school. And despite all the odds, you could manage the finances. That is again a commendable thing. So uh, definitely, I would uh, recommend your app USMLE Strike just because a person who himself is studying, a person who himself is going through this process and a person who has excelled in USMLE all three steps so far as I know. And uh, he is into this process and in himself has developed uh, an application based on preparation of USMLE that is definitely going to become something extraordinary. I can bet on it. Now, uh, last thing is how to prepare usmle simultaneously during the mbbs because it's again so many exams so many clinics so many things are going parallel in medical school and uh, simultaneously you'll have to read because if you are in second year and you are uh, reading something else some other topic some other subject so how to cope up what about the time management right so this is again a great question dr karia that actually in my entire medical journey i i was only reading about usmle materials and still i go, managed to get university ranks um during the mbbs so i yeah, used yeah. uh yeah. <laughs> and you you are my mentor you are in you are in, you are in top 10 in university gujarat university uh, more than 1000 1100 students and you could manage to get in top 10 that was again a commendable thing that was a base thing uh, so far as first mbbs is concerned and must have been uh, into second and third year so definitely your academics i undoubtedly were excellent Yes, but uh, see, for all the students, it's not possible. So time management, right. you know, that is very, very difficult thing for the students because next day, if you are having a class and same day you have got a ward exam right. or something like that. So how to balance in between? Right. So the thing which I always focused on was the quality content. Like right? there is cystic fibrosis everywhere in every book. They mention about cystic fibrosis, but like what concept it takes uh, is like what matters in be it like any book you read, because every book might mention about median now, but how you are correlating that with clinical concepts, it what like that's what it matters. And that's what I learned from you, because like you've been telling me 
to focus on quality yeah. quality quality yeah. from day quality one always, of my medical school so it's always quality that matters always no publicity no marketing nothing <laughs> nothing works always quality matters and always quality yes. sustains and that right. is my motto and that is what i am uh, thinking of and that is what i am telling to all my students and all the aspirants yes so and i am following uh, that one has to one has to focus on the concepts one has to focus on the knowledge one has to focus on learning rather than scoring the marks because right. we know that uh, it's just we need uh, we need to pass the exams we need before appearing we need to pass these marks do not matter for appearing the exams it's the right. final score of usml your final score of neat pg which is counted so why not to focus on clearing the doubts and why not to focus on uh, making concepts right. why not to do conceptual reading and uh, for that we need some specific resource material that is focused on maybe dr najeev video definitely I'm, maybe i am uh, I, i don't know but the student really prays about dr najeev because the way he is teaching very conceptual even though the videos are a bit lengthier right. but once you go through them you will definitely have your concepts clear so there are certain people uh, available there are certain resource material available there are certain videos available in youtube or other platform definitely they are going to help the students so- definitely and i still remember the day when we were you, i was in first year and you told like put question mark to everything yes. even if you are talking about inguinal canal then i still remember the day in my 2013 you said like ask yourself why do we have inguinal canal yes. so that yes. thing you know kept uh, you know was always in my mind i was putting why to everything why like even if it's a course of median now why is it like this so okay. that that really helped me to clear concepts uh, in med school and that is what i also tried in uh, establishing my own app that is vesalius and right. i'm yet uh, putting the content but it's a continuous process and i'll i'll make a substantial amount of content in your future and definitely uh, the first time we a student can go through vesalius that includes anatomy and physiology both i can bet that's going to be the gold standard Let's see. Let's see. Time will tell. <laughs> okay. Last question, Doctor Apurva. What message you want to convey to the students, first and second MBBS students, particularly? Right. So my final message would be like, no matter in which country you land up, uh, be it United States, UK, Australia, India, but I would say wherever you land, uh, our ultimate goal being a doctor is to like transform medicine. Because if we take as a patient's perspective, we might have all been like a patient one time, and we know how we got treated. So. it's like you want to create something by which you want to be treated that's like ultimately that's always want like drives me to make a best healthcare possible of uh, course definitely definitely so that's it dr apurva uh, a really nice and informative session and hopefully all the students all the audiences uh, would have uh, got nice information particularly in career guidance hopefully uh, they would uh, love our upcoming sessions maybe if they drop down certain uh, queries in comment section and if we collect all these queries and uh, if time permits we'll have another session dealing with their queries so anyways dr apurva nice meeting you and wish you all the best for your future endeavors thank you so thank much you. dr viran it was my absolute pleasure and i'm always happy to answer all the queries which Definitely. the students might have sure 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 okay bye. thank you so much bye thank you bye, bye.